money moves. I think this week we're determining if the Houston Texans overpaid um, for uh, offensive tackle Laramie Tunsil. Uh, he's getting paid $22 million per year for so a, a three-year deal, I think. Yeah, and I think it's like 30 something million guaranteed. So it's a very sizable contract. So yeah. who wants to go first? Uh, I just want to say something real quick. It's uh, I said uh, they did overpay, but that's not because of Tunzel. It's more because of like how much other people are getting play- paid in comparison to him. Uh, Aaron Donald is getting paid like twenty two point five million. So you're paying Laramie Tunzel roughly the same as Aaron Donald, and is he worth that much? Like obviously he was so important in that Texas team. Uh, Deshaun Watson, he getting sacked, but now he has a good blind sack protector. But is he really worth that much? Money? Yeah, so that's actually a good point. I like the Deshaun Watson thing you said. And I actually think he's worth it. I mean, he's not worth exactly. it, but I don't think they overpaid because um, the next high pay tackle is 16 mil. That's like a six. You're looking that's at tackles. You're looking at tackles. He's a left tackle. You have to think about the left tackle. The other left, the second high speed left tackle, the age of him is Anthony because it's Anthony Costanzo. He's 32 years old. Laramie Tunsil is 26 years old. He was able to start 14 games in 2020. He made the Pro Bowl. And it's really hard to find a left tackle nowadays that can play 12 or more games in a season because that's a very, very hard position to play because – And be elite at it. Yeah, and because that, like, a right tackle going to left tackle is not something that it happens usually. And more so, no one will ever put a guard at left tackle because left tackle is like the prize of the offensive line, the treasure. Yeah. If you have a good left tackle, your quarterback's fine. And I don't think this is an investment into Laramie Tunsil. I think this is an investment into Deshaun Watson. Yes. Because yes. Deshaun Watson's yes. injury concerns. You do have a point. Yeah, so I Deshaun agree. Watson's rookie year was ACL injury. Last year, he was okay. And then this season that just happened, he was he did well because Laramie Tunsil was there. So I think it's a little more money than expected. But long-term investment to ensure Deshaun Watson is healthy if they extend yes. him, of course, if he stays there, it's a good investment. And that's why it's three yeah. years. Here's the thing. I agree, like, completely with you, AJ. And Sujal, like, I think that you can't, you can't really compare him to Aaron Donald. They're two very different positions. So you have to compare him to, like, how AJ was doing it, you know, within the market, what the age is, what his numbers are, how everything's looking. And um, bear with my analogies here, but – Carson, sorry, not Carson, my bad. Um, Deshaun Watson, because we were talking about injuries, my bad. I was talking about Carson Wentz. But Deshaun Watson, um, the thing is that he he is a top 10, arguably a top five quarterback on a very, very good day. And he is getting a contract soon. I think that he's going to be the second highest paid guy at, at the quarterback position behind Patrick Mahomes um, this coming offseason. And to me, when you're looking at quarterbacks like this, to me, Deshaun Watson is your supercar, all right? He is your Lamborghini. He is your Ferrari. Now, what do you do with that? You don't leave that car outside on the street, no protection. You put it in the garage. You put security in your home. So that is what Laramie Tunsil is to me. You know, you, if you're paying your guy, your Deshaun Watson, $200 million to get hurt for tearing ACL and you still own that guaranteed money, you better invest in him and get him a good O-line. Yeah, so I actually like that. I mean, they traded DeAndre Hopkins away. I mean, is that really investing in Deshaun? Uh, here's the no. thing. No, no, no. Here's the thing. That, 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 that's supporting cast because I think Deshaun Watson has what it takes to be that one-man army. He is not going to – like, yes, I know DeAndre Hopkins, that, that trade sucked. It absolutely sucked. I agree with Su- – Sujal, I agree with you in terms of the point that you made, the, the, the overpaid part about, like, was this the right time to pay – in terms of the way that they were making moves because they traded DeAndre because they said we're not going to pay him. But then all of a sudden you get Brandon Cooks on board. See, I didn't agree with that, which is where I agree with you in terms of like, what are you guys doing with your money? So, but at the same time though, I'm going to give, if you, if the quarterback can get protection, right? The average time a quarterback has to throw that ball is I think like what? Two it's seconds. Two seconds. Collapses. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the thing is that if you can buy just an extra second more, you can make guys look good downfield because coverage breaks down. Like yeah. Brandon Cooks, you're not going to be able to guard that speed like vertically as a downfield threat. Then you get Will Fuller when he's healthy is a great, great That's asset. That's a huge win. That's a huge and win. Again, again, that is barring if he is healthy. 
I'm not saying, you know, because if he's always on and off the field, it's not going to help him. But when he is healthy, they are they are borderline unstoppable duo in this league. Yeah. So I actually like your analogy earlier, but Deshaun Watson being a Ferrari, I think Laramie Tunsil is the insurance. You need yeah. insurance on the car. If you crash the car, you have your insurance to help to stop that. Oh no, that's a bad analogy. All right. You know, yeah, I like no, your I analogy better at the garage. All right. So <laughs> um yeah, so I think it's like what you said about Will Fuller, that's actually a big deal because to stretch the field you need time in the pocket right for receivers to get down the field so right like you said two seconds isn't going to cut it Larry Tunsil can give him three seconds four seconds maximum give him time to roll out find Will Fuller Brandon Cooks these faster wide receivers and that's something you noticed in Kansas City Patrick Mahomes gets the exactly. ball out fast but he's not like he he holds on to the ball he's not throwing it like Tom Brady two seconds yeah He's holding yeah. it three seconds, four seconds, because he can do that with his offensive line. And he has these faster wide receivers. So I think when you yeah. have faster wide receivers like they have, getting this extra protection helps your receivers and your quarterback, not just your quarterback. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the stats, I mean, Deshaun Watson was sacked, I think, 44 times last season. I mean, you're, and then because of of the pressure I think every play we saw in that Bills playoff game which Deshaun Watson was rolling he was rushing I mean he was he was getting out of the pocket so much and then I think bringing in a guy like Laramie Tunsil who can really provide the assistance and protection for Deshaun Watson could really open things up for Deshaun Watson and help him stay in the pocket a little bit longer to find those players instead of running away from defenders um, all the time, like how he was during the Bills game, the um, one where they got they blew the lead against the Chiefs. I mean, just bringing in a guy like Tunsil could help this team so drastically. And I think the price is always right when you can bet on your quarterback and your team to really produce the results that you want in the future. 